Walking by the World Trade Center in Baltimore's Inner Harbor, you might be wondering what these floating plant islands are behind me. Well, these are floating wetland islands that we've created for the downtown for the harbor in order to bring back what once used to exist here. These wetlands used to exist all around the ring of the harbor before it was developed. We all love the, the waterfront here, but there's so little natural environments here for, uh, for the wildlife. If you look very closely, you can see there's a lot of ducks. And, uh, and if you were able to look underneath these floating wetland islands, you'd see crabs and a lot of fish that are utilizing them now. It's like a magnet for wildlife. These floating wetland islands are very unique because they've been created with floatable garbage that runs off during storm events through our uh, storm drain system into the inner harbor. The floating wetlands were built by uh, school children with the Living Classrooms Foundation. They're very simple. A simple design. We use these plastic bottles, put them in these socks, and they end up being the flotation device for these floating wetland islands. These bottle socks placed into a coconut fiber mesh that's recycled coconut husks. They're used as the flotation for the whole wetland island. Fold it over like a, a bottle sand, floating bottle sandwich. And then wetland plants were used and fit into the coconut fiber. The roots grow down into the water column and they provide a, 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 the right conditions for microbes and invertebrates, little things that live on these roots that attract crabs and small fish. The plants such as this smooth cord grass, Spartina, that you find in salt marshes. They uptake nutrients from the water column. Nutrients are things like fertilizers and, and some pollutants that flow off during storm events from the greater watershed up in the northern parts of Baltimore, come down to the harbor here, and create the green algae growth that you see in the water, which isn't a bad thing in small amounts, but in much larger amounts, they can cause algae blooms and fish kills. Wetlands act as the, the kidneys and the livers of, of, of the watershed. What you see behind me are the last remaining remnants of wetlands on Baltimore's Inner Harbor. We're at the Living Classrooms Foundation campus, and uh, this stretch of wetlands was restored several years ago. We moved to the bulkhead and planted some wetland plants here, and persist to this day. It's very interesting because we're in a highly urbanized environment. And these last little remnants of, of, of wetlands in the Inner Harbor here are very important because they give people a pleasant feeling when you see green, whether you know it or not. It makes you feel good. Many people feel that way instead of a hard concrete edge. You might be wondering, how will we know if these floating wetlands are actually doing, doing anything for the water quality in the harbor? Well, they're being monitored by the University of Maryland and scientists at the National Aquarium are going to be looking at how these things are put together what materials are used, and how the plants are, are functioning on these in their labs to see how well they're actually working to quantify that scientifically so we can actually say how much nutrients are being taken up, how much oxygen is being put back into the water column, what kind of microbes and bacteria are forming on the root structure that are so beneficial and important to the water quality of this harbor. So you can stay up to date on what's going on with these floating wetlands by checking out the Waterfront Partnership of Baltimore's website. Check it out, see what's going on. We're going to be following these in the next year to come. Water. 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 Like me, I